Pitch to Randa, lined up the left field line toward the corner, and it's a fair ball, and it one hops the fence. Baroa will score, and Abraham Nunez being waved home. Relay throw to Rodriguez on a short hop, and Nunez is safe, and Randa on the throw home ends up at third base. The 1-0 pitch, and Randa drives it into left field, but coming up is Monroe, and he can't make the play. Plays it on a short hop, so... Randa has another base hit, so six hits in the series, and Joe is two for two today. And the pitch. Randa, ground ball left side and picked off by the shortstop, Guillen. He flips to second, but it's too late. So Randa has an infield single. Go home, get on your computer, and enter the contest. Ground Just four ball. for four. Ground ball pass to third baseman, Inge, and Abraham Nunez will go first to third on Randa's base hit to left field. So... This is the second game for Joe in his last four that he's had four hits in a game. Each a row. George, it's a great idea, but there's one flaw in your plan. I don't have a computer. Joe is four for four with four runs scored. Two RBIs, three singles, and a double. And he swings, and it's a soft liner over first base and out into right field. So a five-for-five five game for Randa. And he's done that in the first six innings. They were already in front, 6-2, to two, and they scored the 11 runs. Randa hits a looper over the shortstop, and that's going to drop. So that's a six-hit game for Joe Randa. I think Bob Oliver had a six-hit game for the Royals back in 69 or 70 out in Anaheim. Boy, what a game as far as records go. The 24 hits ties a team record for hits in a game, and they accomplished that here in Detroit at Old Tiger Stadium in 1976. So Joe with five singles and a double.